Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan and welcome to another episode of Criminal Case 3 World Edition. So today we will be investigating the murder of a prince. Just like the last time. Perhaps it's the chapter 2. So the queen wants to speak with me. Yeah man, we must be in trouble. Yeah, we are very busy in the investigating of her grandson's murder. Okay, let's go and talk to the queen. Well, yeah, that is a great idea. We must investigate and look around to see what we can find. Any clue about the murder of his majesty. Before talking to the queen, we must investigate for clues in the royal castle. It's very messy here. We found an open book, a lantern, and I found a barrel. What is this? It's a sword. Okay, this might be a very useful clue. Here's a crown and some flowers. Seventy percent, not bad for the first time, you know. Happens all the time. Yeah, that's right. I found some very cool stuff. There's something on the sword. Okay, we need to collect the sample of this thing. Let's go. And this open book. There's a page ripped off. Okay, let's see what was written on it. Well, the queen must be waiting for us. Let's go and talk to her first. Then we'll look at the clues. Yes, we are investigating the murder of your grandson. But we cannot bring the killer because we have rules. Wow, that's really angry reaction. Anyway. So the prince doesn't have any enemies. Well, that will be tough to find the killer. Okay, that was enough pep talk. Queen rides horses and drinks tea. That's a suspect. Now let's go and examine the sword. We can get some samples from it. Yeah, we have a new device that collects substances on those crystals. Okay, that will be used. The blue crystals collected in 7 seconds. Not bad. And now we are going to send these samples to Lars and he will examine it for us. It's gonna take some time while we check on the open book.
so this was the thing written on it when beggars die there are no comments seen okay we need this thing to be analyzed also Well now it is time to be skipped like a pro So these cholesterols are calcium Hypochlorite, they are used for cleaning purposes and they are poisonous. They can be used to kill our victim. And also we need to know who was using this. It was Annette Grimshaw, the chambermaid. Okay, we need to go and talk to her. But first we need to know what was this message about. Okay, this message is from the killer and how did he work it out? So this is a quote from Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar The death of princes like our victim It's a Shakespeare's quote And we have also found traces of tea and horse hair on the book Which means our killer loves Shakespeare Which means our killer must spend a lot of time in the theater. Let's go and check it out again. But first we need to go and talk to the maid if she knows something about the substance that was on the sword. So we found that she drinks tea and nothing else. That was such a useless conversation I've ever had in a game. Well now it is time to investigate the theater wall. Well now I've found some torn pieces. They might be very useful because they are torn and on your clue. Well, I found a pigeon with some sort of uh, message on him, I think. So this is the last clue I need to find and I found it. Okay, the scoreboard. As always a high score cause this is the first time Yeah and this time it is 73% Not so bad Oh great the message is all faded we need to clean it by ourselves Anyway we need to get these pieces back together and see what it comes up with Now let's reveal the faded message first So the prince is finally dead, the message says. 
and there is some kind of code at the bottom of the message and we need to decipher it all right we'll do it this is what we are here to do but first we will examine the torn pieces then we'll get to the code So this is a painting of Prince Albert and Count Rupert when they were younger and they don't look very pleased at each other. I think they hate each other. Just going to talk to that Count Rupert again. But first we're gonna solve this puzzle of code. And this is some kind of weird code when you need to send it to Elliot for analysis. Let's do it. Let's start the numbered analysis. And now we are going to talk to Mr. Count Robert, a member of the royal family. They were like best friends. They don't look dead. So Controoper quotes Shakespeare's Dings Tree and Iron Sources and also has a strong motive of killing the victim. What a nice way. Now let's skip the time and check the results of the code. It's a simple substitutional code and it belongs to Brazil class. So we need to get and get to him and talk to him. Let's see what we can find out. Well, this creepy dude also loves tea and Shakespeare. What is Prince Rupert doing here? He was just Count Rupert now. What the hell is going on? So it's gonna be a surprise to know. Anyway, see you on the next one. Take care. And that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.